Alright guys, so right after I made the patch note weekly video, I realized on the front page, on the news section, there was a section for the event, even though on the forums they did not post about it at all, uh, but I did finally find it. So <laughs> basically, I figured I'd make up for it by just making an entire video for the event, because the event seems pretty awesome. So here is the page that I found, um, event period, a brief intro. Basically, there's six mini games that you can do every single day, and I have to make this video and do it now because uh, reset is unfortunately when I'm going to be sleeping. So if I don't do it, if I don't do it now, I won't do it. I'm going to do this on my Valkyrie as well because I don't feel like getting my Dark Knight out. So I haven't chilled with my Valkyrie for a while. It should be all mini games and fun, so my Valkyrie will be pretty fun to play with. Where is the Thermian Water Park? It's all the way over here. So in game, I'm actually at the Thermian node. We'll go in game and I'll show you where I am and we'll try to find this. I'm pretty sure I just run straight forward into the coast and we'll find it. Uh, but how to get the coins? Basically, you do the dailies. So we can do six dailies every day and we get coins for it. And the coins you can buy rewards. And it also says bonus pick a prize. There are two quests where you can pick one of these prizes once a day. So once a day you can choose two of these. So that's pretty much how it works. And it's the quests that have the stars. So with this one and the one down here, there's all six quests, the NPCs, the descriptions. Pretty cool. It's really cool. This is on the official site and it's all like official stuff. So you can enjoy the exciting mini games. Uh, it actually has a quest description for all six. We're going to be trying to do all six and I can refer back to this if I need help. Um, you guys can look it up if you want to. I'll link this in the description. But let's look at what we can get with the seals. So if we have five seals, we can get the event uh, pearl treasure chest, which is basically like any other event reward. You can get a bunch of stuff, including Zarka, Gaeth, Biggs, Muskins, yada yada yada, the good stuff. But what's interesting is with ten seals, you can buy a crown. I don't know if this is class specific. Hopefully, you can just use it on every character. I think that's what most events do. You can just pretty much use it on whoever. I'm not entirely sure though, so I'm not going to say anything yet. We'll have to get this, and I will definitely get this guaranteed. As well as the seahorse diving hat. Interesting stuff. Last thing though, this is crazy. This is pretty crazy. Ten seals needed. So. I mean, we have six quests daily, if you get a seal per quest, it should be pretty easy to rack up these seals, like just a few days worth and you should have everything. But the, this last one, you can get one of these for ten seals, and you this puts you in a drawing for rewards. So the event rewards, make sure you have the festival entry coupon, this thing. It took me a second to figure out what this was for, and it is for the chances to win big. Yo, I totally need a 1080 let alone a 1080 Ti. This is fucking crazy. There's only gonna be... It says two winners. It says one winner right here, and then it says two winners up here. Well, like, what the fuck? Who even knows if anyone's gonna get it? Maybe they're just, like, trolling us, but... No, no I'm sure they're gonna give away at least one, as well as these rewards. So I could totally use a free value pack if it just happens to work out. Uh, I don't really need any of the other rewards. A choppy would be always nice. I don't think I need... A blessing, comma silve, or these skins. Like, who really needs these skins? I already have this one, by the way, which would suck. <laughs> That'd be so ironic if I got this. It'd be cool if I give it away. But uh, but yeah. So that's the intro. This is gonna be. This might be a long video. It took three minutes before even doing anything. So this might be a long video, especially if I'm doing six daily quests. I apologize, but I am probably gonna just cram it in all into one video. Yeah, I just kind of ruined the video. But let me know if you guys have a problem with the super long video. Without further ado, let's go straight into the coast and see if we can find anything. I'm just gonna go right here. Here we go. Yo, I bet it's about to be lit, like, right on the coast. Uh, I don't see anything yet, though. I mean, we're at Thermian Cliff. Is the where other, what other Thermian is there? Here's Olvia. Here's where it said, is it behind us? I think it's legit behind us. Maybe it's where the palm trees and the, the stands are, you know, where the party's at. I'm literally going the wrong direction over here. But we totally found it. Yo, the cactus walls? Dude, it, okay, it's not cactus, it's, they're just leaves, but you get the point. It's pretty cool. Very, very cool stuff. Now, I have no idea what we're going to be doing, though. <laughs> So just walking up in here, I have no idea what's going on, uh, but I do see some quests over here. I, okay, I think I see three. So we're going to talk to this person, get the quest. Uh, I just completed it though. 
I already, I just got one seal. What, what the fuck was the quest? I should have read it. Come on in. We have sweet juice. Okay, well I completed a quest. Let's talk to this guy. Let's slow it down. I'll make you a marvelous sh shop. Just wait and see. Bring the car of timber. Okay, okay. Now we have a, now we have a quest. So we're gonna go over here, and bring this guy his car of timber. Now the question is, how fast can I get these quests done? We got the first one done instantly. So I mean, I guess the timer started then. <laughs> fuck, fuck. Okay, I wasn't looking at the. the I spam clicked. Never spam click when you have this. That's the only way you can pretty much fail. Uh, the only problem is I don't see the uh, quest objective. Like I don't see where to bring this. I guess just the giant, the giant dude that we were just talking to. I'll just look out for him. I can't even tell. Oh, it's the blue. It's the blue icon. There we go. So yeah, it's been a while since I've done events. Honestly, sometimes I legit don't even try to do an event because it sounds so lame. But this one is a legit awesome event. Like, look how scenic it is. Like, I would go out of my way just to chill here. This is a great place to bring to get screenshots, and I totally, totally passed the guy, and now we're doing, like, a three-point turn, two-point turn, whatever point turn. Can we fucking get to this guy? Holy shit. It's really hard to talk and look at the stupid bar and look, pick a direction. Can we just stop? Oh my god. Just drop it. Just, just, just drop it, please. For the love of god, please. <laughs> Thank you. I brought the timber. Complete. Thank god. Okay, now that quest is done. Two out of six, guys. Let's go. And now we're gonna talk to this... This person. This dude. Okay, okay. This dude. Let's talk to him. She's known everyone in this restaurant. A very picky connoisseur. Just today, the details already passed. Um, can you please look around the restaurant for the lost page? What? Okay, there are three highlighted areas on my map. I'm glad they're keeping it simple, guys. It helps me a lot because I am dumb. <laughs> and just like that, we have found it. <laughs> First try. So I think we are three out of six. Yep, now the question is, where are the other quests? Also, what is the icon on my map? Is that like a salesperson? Um... Um... Oh, Thermian Coin Exchange. Oh, you have to spend one coin for a coconut? I don't know what the coconut's for, dude. So, I... I have no idea what the coconut is for, if it's useful, but... We'll have to try that after I buy all the cool stuff. Now, the question is... Where are the other three events? Guys, I just want to take a second... This is beautiful, okay? This... This is beautiful. Can we just take a second and admire this? Why isn't this just gonna be permanently in the game? Like, please. Please just keep the sandcastles. Sandcastles are right, like, come on. This is amazing. Can I, like... Oh, I can... Oh, come on. I wanna stand in the sandcastle. See, he's got the right idea. Can I even join you? Oh my god. Make this area accessible and keep this in the game, please. I will do anything. Like, oh my god, look at this. This is art. Black spirit art. Art of the RNG god. Okay. This deserves... <laughs> this deserves notice. And a giant whale, that's nice. I like the whale. Adds a nice touch. Now, can we look at this from, like, the front? This, like, goblin dude? I can't even jump in here. What a scam. Okay, okay, anyways. Uh, back to the point. I think there is a quest around the corner of the sandcastle. I actually did not see it until right before I pushed the record button, but there is a dude right here with the quest. Quest number four. Taking care of a child is too difficult. Okay. Parents said they were busy, so they brought a lot of children to me. Oh, jeez. They don't listen to me, so they ran off. So we have to go find them? She must be somewhere taking a nap. Okay. Is there... There is an auto path, so we'll just follow the auto path and do the request. I mean, it would be cool if they give us some imagination, but it would... Sometimes I get lost, you know, and... Quests can be impossible, so it is kind of nice that they do give a pretty solid auto path to where you have to go. 
saves time, especially if they expect us to do this every single day. You know, it's not like a one-time thing. I have not done the fortune cookies at all, but this event is pretty hype. There's another quest over here too. Is that okay? So it's like, are these two quests like together? Except you can get a thermian fruit, but I don't want to do that. We also have to wake her up. Tell him we'll be there soon. Maybe we have to do her quest first. Oh, we have to spend a coin to hit the possessed spirit? That's a scam. So you can't get six coins a day then, you can only get five because you have to spend one to hit him, right? Is that the deal? So just throw thermian fruit. And yeah, I don't have a thermian fruit. One thermian coin. GG. What a scam. How do I even... Okay, maybe this one fruit last- oh, okay, god. Oh, god, okay. Maybe it lasts forever, so maybe you only have to buy it once. Because this is- okay, we got it, we got it. It has, it has 10 durability. Let's hope we only have to buy it once. But I don't know what- what is this? You can exchange it for the crown? Wait, so... The seal is different from the coin. So the coins don't mean shit, pretty much. The seals are how you get the 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 pearl crown and the diving hat, or I mean the coral crown, or the pearl chest. Yeah, I got those mixed up. But yeah, okay. So I'm starting to learn a bit more. I'm starting to learn. But we do have this thermian fruit, which pretty much just looks like an apple. Now that quest is done. Now we're gonna go back to this one. I'm gonna have to double check on the quest like descriptions and stuff, make sure I do them all. Cause maybe there's like maybe that counts as one of the quests, even though I did two. I don't know. It sounds like only two quests are gonna give me those seals though. I didn't see any other quest, however. I barely found this one at the end here. So let's go over here, talk to this guy. Which one are we gonna get? Movement speed, critical hit. What do we even want? It's because it has accuracy plus five, I guess. I don't even know. Do you like they're all? Pro I don't even care for food. But thank you, thank you very much. So we have three coins, one seal. Don't we have like two more quests to do? Like, oh my god. Yeah, I that popped up because one of mine broke. Because I died, because, yeah, I, I did that, like, let's cover that last stream. That's the only thing that I need to make up for my my stupid death. Carrying on, though, I'm just going to backtrack on video before I cut. Uh, just to make sure it doesn't just pop up while I'm recording. Because I don't think, we already came here, so the only thing I can do is backtrack and look for a yellow thing. I'm thinking they're probably out at sea, or, like, out of the docks. So I think if we do, a, like, a lap around here, we should see one or two quests. Because there's our horse, we pretty much went over there, so... Yeah, there's totally a path over here. So I'm totally just going to leave all this in, because it looks so beautiful. Like, come on. Looks... Looks very nice. I love the atmosphere. And there is a quest right there. There is two quests over here, so... Very cool stuff. This one, I think, has to do with fishing. Let's find out. Um, are you enjoying the summary? Round of shooting out to the vast sea. If you don't have a gun, you can borrow one. I have a gun, yo. It's good. It's all good. I got my hunting musket. I got my fishing rod. I got my skiller. That's why we're here with my Valkyrie. Because my Dark Knight would not be prepared. This is pretty much my event and life skiller character. We're also going to start this quest at the same time. Oh, they have two quests. What? A spooky tail. And that one. Okay, so... So this one also gives seals. So you get two seals a day. So five days until... Well, four more days until we get the crown. That's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to get the crown first, then the, then the diving helmets. I mean, wait, how long does the vent last? I'm actually going to cut and go see... <laughs> Oh yeah, so the dates, if you didn't read earlier, I didn't read because I just kind of skipped through it even though it was on the screen, is 
an entire month, the 8th of next month. So every 5 days you'll have 10 seals if you do them every day. Now it's going to be hard to do them every day, but they give you tons of time to make up for it. So 28 days. You only need to do 5 days for 10 seals. That's pretty much what the rewards are. So 5 days for the crown, 5 days for the, the diving mask, 5 days for the free giveaway. Once you do 15 days, you get every good reward. Every 2 and a half days after that, you'll just get a free pearl box that you can open for a reward. Or you could just get a bunch of even more crowns and stuff, but I'm pretty sure you can transfer them to all your characters like most other events. You could, if you want to have two characters at once have a crown, just buy a bunch of crowns. I don't see the point though, I'm probably just going to get one. And even if they weren't family bound, I'd only get two, I wouldn't get like a ton. I'd get one for my Valkyrie and one for my Dark Knight, that's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, looking at these quests, I still did not even figure out what to do. Uh, but this one just says shoot and hit the the balloons. This one says put fire on the beacon mound. And this one just says collect tattered, tattered boots and torn net. So this one is literally just fishing. This one says put a fire out over there. We're going to start with the shooting of the balloons. I thought I was going to say birds. It says... Termian wing balloons. As soon as I saw a wing, I saw I thought birds, but they are fucking bird. Or well, they're like insects. Those are balloons. Those those are creepy looking. Um. Engage in Mac chalk practice. So you have to spend the coins to play the games to complete the quest. It seems. And you have to use the matchlock, don't you? So I just like shoot. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was going to block my shot. So, do I just kill one? That's it? Okay. You know, I do the hunting dailies every single day. I did it before I started this video, so, like, that was, like, absolutely nothing. Just kill one balloon. It'd be cool if you, like, had to kill a few or something. Maybe they moved around, and you had to hit him from the dock or something. That'd be kind of cool, but no, no, no. Just, like, kill one, shoot three times. Okay. Uh, what did I get last time? I think I got that one. But I I am kind of happy how easy it is because it will be very easy for me to do this every single day. So I will have a bunch of loot. I'm probably going to save, like I said, once I get all three of those rewards, I'm going to save every single pearl box until the end and probably open them all at once. But I don't know if I'm going to do it every day. I could get very lazy. Who knows? Real life stuff does happen. Um, but yeah, let's go set that, that beacon mount on fire over here. Uh... Also, I do have a fishing outfit on this character because it is my life skill character. I've had this character for a long time. Also, I do not have a fucking value pack. It expired today. I'm getting one tonight. It's like, ironic because like this is the only time I'm gonna make a video and do this. Uh, but yeah, it expired between my last video and this video, I believe. <laughs> and it'll be fixed by next video. So normally, if my my fish is like gold, but today it's red. So enjoy the red fish, the rare red Valkyrie fish. Now. I'm just gonna stand on it, because why not? It completes. Whoa. 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 Is that it? Oh, that's not the quest. Is the quest completed? What? So we got another quest? Find something useful from where the ghost ship disappeared. What are the rewards? Go ship treasure chest. They did not even explain the treasure chest. And it also looks like you can get more than two seals. Okay, so all my math earlier was wrong. So I hope you guys are still watching the video. <laughs> so it looks like you can get at least three. Maybe there's more secret quests. I don't know. I'm going to, again, I'm, we're going to refer back to the, the website to make sure I've done every quest they describe on that form. But yeah, it does seem like some quests like lead into other quests find something useful from where the ghost ship disappeared so you just open this box on the ground and then we're gonna go back up and talk to the black spirit or i think the black spirit i don't even know i'm just gonna talk to him and get all his quests out of the way just to make sure nice nice picture of the ground right there okay perfect perfect picture let me just get this out of the way um Um, pretty sure none of that had to do with anything of the event. 
What are all these quests? I'm sorry, I haven't like equipped that combat potion. So none of those were from the event. I'm sorry, you had to witness that. Combat awakening special. But I didn't get the reward. So like, where's the quest? Uh, one second. Okay, so I just I just failed to scroll up here right here. So if I just scrolled up earlier, I would have like not freaked out, and then I would have found that I just could just auto path back here. So we're gonna talk to this guy, <laughs> um, and then we're gonna get this reward: golden coal cant, extra exp scroll. I'm thinking we're just gonna open it. It's not it's not the pearl box. There's nothing too crazy that could open that could happen. So I'm just gonna open this one because why not? Um, yeah, we're gonna pick that again. So I will open this one. Open only one. It's the same kind of deal though. That's the roulette, but this one doesn't have that crazy of rewards. And I'm gonna get a magic pickaxe. Okay, very cool. Not really. Um, this guy still has the quests for me. And I think that's the only quest we have left. All we have to do is just fish. So, is the event that makes it a white fishing rod. What is it? It's like a coral? That's kind of crazy. I wonder what fishing rods are. So I have a Medea rod and a Feria rod. Usually I use steel rods, but that's all I actually have. I don't actually have steel rods on me. So Medea rod and a Feria rod. They look the same. So I guess every single fishing rod looks like this. Um, but you know, cool stuff. So I guess we're just going to fish here, and this is the first time I'm going to active fish in a long time, but it's going to be fun. I, I have wanted to fish for a while, I've just been preoccupied with doing other things. So I have no idea how long it's going to take, but pretty much we need to collect tattered boots and torn nets. So I'm going to stop video, and I'm going to time myself, and I'm going to tell you it's 10.20 a.m. right now, IRL. I'm going to tell you how long this takes, and I'm going to actively fish and push the space bar and play the minigame, and also I'll tell you... I'll also tell you how many times I fail, so be right back. Alright guys, as a recap, so I just spent 30 minutes fishing, got absolutely nothing. You only get one token, not a seal or anything. People were talking shit on the quest while I was fishing, it was quite hilarious. I gave up. There is no more fishing to be going on today. That quest is completely abandoned because I'm not spending 30 minutes plus everyday fishing for a fucking junk fish. I'd rather just be fishing for money at that point. So kind of a waste, I don't need the extra token, but I do want to go over some of this. So, the first one is one we haven't even done, so Papa Clam, it doesn't say you start a quest, it says exchange the coin for five coconuts, and then you can find a giant clam hanging around somewhere in the water park, but it does say it appears after a certain amount of time passed, and if you don't pop it open within 30 minutes, it disappears, and it only spawns every four hours. So, I need sleep, I may not see it today, and I want to upload this video today, this is probably not going to happen in this video, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe I'll do it on a live stream though, try to pop a clam. If I see a clam in chat or something, I'll definitely pop it. Uh, but I don't think it's going to happen unless it just happens to spawn in the next 10 minutes. So that's going to not happen either. I'm sorry for the disappointment guys, but uh, keeping it real here. This however is the, per the NPC I'm talking to, standing right next to, that I'm about to talk to, I believe is the last NPC that will give me a quest and it's for the shoot. Coconut cannons. Accept the quest. Talk to the rose. Talk to Rose. That's the person I'm next to. You get the uh, cannon assembly kit, the coconut cannon assembly kit. Then we have to go and get coconut cannonballs, which is from the uh, NPC we were just at. Assemble your cannon at the coastline near the pirate scarecrows. Ready, load, fire, and then return to Rose. So we're gonna go do that in game. So video full screen. Here we go. Let's turn off chat and let's talk to her. She also has the get term and entry coupon. Accept? Oh, you do need 10 seals, okay. Oh, uh, then we're gonna talk to her, spend 5 energy for the setup. Oh. Coconut cannonball. She sells you the cannonballs on the spot, too. We don't even need to go to the other NPC. We now have coconut cannonballs. Now, how the fuck. Is it, is it these things? Like. It is. Does not belong to you, so I have to set up my own. Coconut cannon assembly kits. Cannot be removed after maintenance. Hell yeah. Let's set this shit up. 
We'll go. We'll look at the the checklist on the website before I stop the video. But I think this is the last thing we have to do. There is my cannon. It looks exactly like everything else. So we're gonna man it. I have no idea how to do this. You can like move it. Oh, you can move it up and down. Okay. Shift W or Shift S. No, I don't think that's doing anything. Shift. Hmm. Well, let me just figure out how to do this first. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so we're making progress. I just want to point out, if you push F5, it does have an inventory. So I found that out. It took me about a minute. Put the coconuts in the inventory. Click the R button. And you see the zero button has now turned into a five. That is pretty much all I figured out. Now it does have a blue blinking icon. Not really sure what that is. Now if we try the shift button. Okay, the shift button actually does something. Now S, W, hmm. What if we try like in between? Yeah, this would be totally bad. Dude, I didn't even see anything. Do I have to like hit, see the marker in my thing? Um, barrel overheated. I can't do anything. Hmm. Wait, it's, it doesn't have the, the like, area. Oh fuck. It didn't let me... First it had the arrow, and now it's gone. This is me, like, not knowing how to do anything. I apologize, I'm probably gonna leave it in though, because it's kinda funny. There's a lot in this game I've not done, even though I play, like, fucking every day. How are you hitting, like, close to where you need to hit? I'm not even hitting close to anything. So it's a hold left click, is that the deal? What is the giant circle blinking? Like, I don't know anything. I'm assuming that means like I can lock on, maybe? Why is it just hitting the water? Quest objective completed. I have no idea how. Please tell me how to do this. I'm gonna upload this video today, so how how should I accomplish that cannon tomorrow? Because I don't I didn't even see the cannonball fire or anything. I don't know how I accomplished that, but thank god it's over. It's over. And I got you get memory fragments and beer. Oh you have to choose. Oh you have to choose. Well, I, I literally have fifty of these. But combat experience though. Shit, shit, shit. Combat experience though. Combat experience though. Okay, I think that's it guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I think that's every single quest here. Now if we go back, let me just bring this over here, bring this over here. If we scroll down here, dive live, feel alive. This one is not a quest. All it does is say you can dive, there's a diving board in the cliffs, press, press, press R for tips. And you can also choose your style of diving. You can either use space bars to just straight dive, or you could S hold S for a sprint dive. Splash into the cool water. So there's no quest or any reward for this. It just they just happen to put it its own thing. And we've also already saw the spooky ship. We already accomplished that. We've already bang bang banged with uh, these crazy looking creature things, as well as got rid of the possessed spirits, which pretty much look the same. Like it, they look like the same exact thing as the balloons. So. Interesting stuff. We're gonna be working towards this crown. I cannot wait. I'm gonna buy the crown first, then the diving mask, then the t the coupon, and then save up as many of these as I possibly can for the very end. And yeah, tell me how to do the cannon. I don't know. Tell me how to get the trash loot. Is it a bad thing that I'm artisan fishing on this character? Should I have done this on a beginner fisher? Maybe I would have got the trash loot easier. But I had to get. You have to get tattered boots and a torn net. And I did not get shit for 30 minutes. So, anyways, I hope you guys. I hope this helped you guys with the events, and I hope you guys do this one because this one's pretty fun, really cool rewards, and I hope we're all wearing these this, these crowns in a few days. So, 
I'll see. Oh yeah, and also just to just to go back, just to go back. How many you get a day? If you do all the quests I did today, you get four seals, four seals every day. So it's gonna double the amount of time I said earlier because I thought you only got two for some reason. Then I actually did more quests. Uh, I only got I only was, I'm only left with one coin because I ended up spending coins for the quest. But the thermian fruit seems to be reusable. That'll be an extra coin, so I would have ended up with two there. I don't know if I have to buy the cannonball. Oh, I should get. Does the cannonball last forever? I'm gonna go get the coconuts. Is it still? Is this mine? Thank God. So tips right here. Keep your coconuts, guys. I only have two left. I cannot move the item. No, come on. I cannot move the item. Rip. You can't save your coconuts. Oh, rest in peace, coconuts.